All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. Dr. Lori, did you, were you able to see Lucille Ball, Mikey? Yes, I Isn't was. that so neat? Yes, I thought that was wonderful. She's a, she's wonderful. Oh, she is. Dr. Lori, tell, tell us about your table. You have a couple figurines there. My table has some Hummel figurines on it. Um, I'm shooting videos about Hummel figurines coming up later today. And I like David Highfield's suit. Me oh, too. Well, thank you, Dr. Lori. You're so sweet. So uh, good looking. I like it. Well, thank you. Sharp. You made me feel better about it's myself. A, it's a smart Very suit. Sharp. Oh, that's she's making fun of me because that's what I say to her about things. Those so are smart, smart shoes. Smart pair of shoes there, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> My parents said that a lot. I heard a lot of that looks smart. <laughs> I heard a lot of that. Smart was a big deal in our house. <laughs> you see the reference there? <laughs> I totally get the reference. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get to um, our first item, which is a vase. Yes, please. Let's get to our first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Majolica Etruscan teapot. It is made by a company in Pennsylvania called Griffin Smith and Hill, and it dates to about 1885. Ada Jean sent this in. It has beautiful crustacean, uh, a crustacean finial. It's got a lovely decoration. This is really a very rare teapot that people look for in the Majolica style, which is a lead glazed ceramic. So think high, people. So not a vase at all. Not a vase at all, but close. <laughs> right. close. That's what it said. Put stuff in it. You know what? The I don't know. Rose tea. I don't know. Vases. <laughs> <flowers. laughs> <laughs> the color is what strikes me. Like yes. that green color reminds yep. me of other things that are like prized possessions that are very popular. So when you say yeah, high, like, yeah. what's high for Honey a teapot? in general. <laughs> I'm sorry, Heather, what? When you say high, how high is uh, for a teapot? Like what are we talking here? Well, I think you should think, you shouldn't think of your general everyday teapot number. You should, you know, when you're thinking of value here, you should think, huh. First of all, it's Majolica lead glaze. Second of all, it dates from 1885. Third of all, it's in beautiful condition. It has some elements too. It's not your typical, oh, I'm gonna go out and get a teapot. Teapots are usually, I mean, a good ceramic teapot might cost you, I don't know, 65, $75. It's a lot more than that. That's okay. enough hinting for you, Heather Abraham. Sorry, Although that David's was a really good question, Heather. I was gonna applaud your question. David just erased his $55. No, <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. $55. No, actually, I erased a number and then wrote down the same exact number again. That's how <laughs> indecisive I am about this. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You show us your number. I said four seventy-five. I said three hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Oh, so kidding. Ada yes. Jean, go oh, get yourself yeah. very, very, a nice very bag. Very rare. Lots of people look for it. Majolica is very hot, and it's a, it's an Etruscan Majolica piece. I mean, collectors are looking for that. We need to remember that word. Exactly. It's like oak. <laughs> Right, it's like, like oak. oak. Yeah, <laughs> right. it's almost as valued as oak. All right, that's next right. Up, we have a doll from Kathy. Let's see if we can top the first item. So cute, so cute in Japan. Japanese silk doll dates to the 1960s. Gorgeous. When I was in Japan, I walked into one of those shops where they fit you for the kimono. Now I didn't get fit for a kimono because of my hips, but I will say it was so exciting and gorgeous. This idea of the tradition of being fitted for a kimono. And this was what is translated into this doll. It's a beautiful piece. And it's about 10 inches tall. 10 inches. It, yep. Is this something that would, it doesn't look like it's in a box or is it? Or is it no, on I don't think it's in a box. I think it's just on a stand. Has okay. So yeah. what what era again would this be from? And like the, the sick middle twentieth century, the fifties, sixties. Okay. After World War II, the GIs bring them home typically. All right, that's kind of where that where I was going. All right, so that's yep. how they arrived in America generally. I don't yep. know. It's so it's so hard. pretty. Okay. So hard. Pretty. Yeah. Good condition too. Face is painted, so they paint the uh, silk for the face. Okay. Ah, David. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing well today. I just can feel it. It's in my bones. I said sixty five dollars. I went Let higher than that. Work for you. I said one fifty, because that's what it's worth, right? Fifty dollars, five oh. All right, there's no way back for you, David. So no. go big or go home for this next one. Why right. not? Look at her smile. She's like, there's no way back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a Sonora. Victrola. It's in working condition. 
of course, you open up one half and you can see, of course, the Victrola and the, and the record will spin around. Notice the hand crank. Look at the cabriole legs. That's that nice curve at the knee. And then also uh, the foot comes back out. That's a cabriole leg. Um, it's in very good condition and uh, it looks like it is, in fact, uh, rosewood. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Early 20th century. You took away my first question when you said it was Sorry. rosewood. Yeah, it's not, it's not oak. It's not oak, but look how shiny and pretty it is. It is. So obviously, I mean, this this is a collector's item. No one is purchasing this to necessarily hear music through it, other than the the novelty of it, right? Well, yeah, I do. People do listen to music on them. I, many people actually prefer to hear the music of them. They say there's a warmth to this kind of uh, musical instrument, if you will, or, or recording playing. Right. Um, but yeah, so there are, uh, it is a novelty and then it's a nice piece of furniture. You know, a lot of people go, Hey, it's a nice piece of furniture. It's solid wood. It's not MDF or medium density fiberboard. Like a lot of the furniture is today. So, you know, it's, it's a nice piece and it's in very good condition. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead. You go first. I said 450. I said 625. Nine hundred dollars. No kidding. We had some high no priced kidding. items this week. Working condition is one of the things, and yes, beautiful items. They're always cool items from Pittsburgh, of course, right? Our viewers do a great job in sending in those objects and the photos of them. Thank you for all of that. I appreciate it. And Heather's writing down the score right now. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Congratulations on your win, Heather. All three of them. Yay, Heather. It was yay. a clean sweep. Yay for Heather. It's a sweep. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. It's Lori. Sweet. Thanks, Dr. You're Lori. welcome. Have a good week. We'll see you next week. Dr. Lori is always fun. It's just so much fun when you win. Oh, it's gratifying, right? isn't it? Yeah. I have to think back. It's been a while since I've won. <laughs> You've won the, all of them lately. <laughs> we want to say thank you to everyone for sending us your pictures, and you can send yours. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com, and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.